Hello, welcome to Nourish Technologies. Today, let us discuss about how we could able to implement our custom filters. Okay, we already know that we can able to implement. I mean, we can able to provide a filter on a model object using a pipe symbol and filter name like this. Okay, now in this particular filter name, we have some uh, predefined filters like uppercase, lowercase, and so on. If in this, if you want to provide your customized filter, how we can able to provide that? Okay, custom underscore filter name. Okay, like any other prototype uh, uh, we used like controller or uh, service factory in the similar way we have a prototype called filter provide filter underscore name and function where this particular function should return your implementation what exactly you want to perform like this okay that is it there we go in this way we could able to create our filter. Let us see an example okay uh, reversal of a particular string okay how we can able to provide using a filter. So, let us body bind a module called ngifn app uh, is equal to my app no controller nothing is required I am not creating any control over, uh, over here. Uh, ask end user to enter some text input type equals to text only and um, bind a model object msg okay there we go show the result uh, using expression and provide a filter called reverse okay so here first thing we need to implement my app and second thing we need to implement reverse okay let us see how we can able to provide them load script node underscore modules slash angular slash angular dot js okay script create a module angular dot module we named it as my app no dependencies at dot filter filter name as reverse function where this particular function should return function implementation directly inside to this particular function we can able to inject our input text otherwise you can make it as text only just make it as in otherwise okay text okay uh, check whether the text is defined or not because angular internally uses a lazy loading mechanism so when we are assigning some value to the text then only the value will be get initialized so it's better just check whether the text is defined or not and assign it to same only if it is not defined then you can assign an empty string then define out for var i equals to uh, text dot length minus 1 check i greater than or equals to 0 i minus minus ok there we go now get individual characters of text by passing that particular index and append it to the out and at the bottom use written out ok reload the application now enter some text over here Nourish. Okay, so whatever the text we are entering using a filter, we are showing in 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 opposite. I mean, in reverse direction. Okay, in the similar way, if you want to pass some additional properties or additional information to that particular reverse, you can able to use a colon, uh, something like make it as uppercase. Okay, so what I can do is I can make it as case. Okay, or uh, some option. Okay if option defined okay uh, then what we can do is if option equals to uppercase it is better always just make that particular option dot uh, to uppercase and validate with uppercase data only. 
So, because of uh, that particular case sensitivity, it is always preferred to make something like this. Now, when we are making it, so what we can do is return out dot upper case, okay, it's, it should be two upper case. So, I am just converting that particular content to upper case and returning that particular data. Okay. If it is in the similar way, if any other options if you are sending that also you can able to send, reload the application, enter some data. So, whatever the data you enter over there, okay, uh, obviously that particular data will be reversed and it is converting into upper case. For example, in this particular upper case, if you are making it as lower case as you. Okay. Some additional data I am just passing, nothing more is there. Copy this use else if sorry okay check with lower case and convert it into to lower case okay so that's it so even though you are entering the content in upper case let me put it in upper case it will convert the data into the lower case and reversal that particular string and it is showing inside your view in this way, we can able to implement our customized filters and apply them to our uh, model objects. Okay, uh, a specific filter can able to, I mean, we can able to provide additional information also, something like this. Okay, so mandatorily the filter will take uh, the first, in, I mean, argument as default, that is the text or the model object value. From there onwards, everything is optional, like uh, you could able to pass some information over there. If you have that particular information passed, you can able to take that based on that, you can able to make some additional operations and you can pass on that particular data. In this way, we can able to implement our customized filters uh, in AngularJS. Okay. If you want to use this particular custom filter inside your uh, controller, that also you can do. You need to append uh, a camel type filter to that particular a reverse okay reverse filter f capital okay and you can able to use that particular filter i mean it may be a custom filter or pre defined i mean predefined filter inside the controller too okay this is all about custom filters thank you mm -hmm.